Tonight we continue our segments on following the candidates for the presidential election. This week, we'll take a look at the last Republican debate, and each of our panelists will give their opinion on who won and why. Jim, we'll start with you. So how long do we have on this? Because I could, I could do 20 minutes just on, just on the debate. Give us some time. Okay, I'll try to give you some time. So um, I'm going to, you know, since it came to me first, I get to say this. 24 million people, 24 million people watching that, that debate. That's, that's pretty amazing. Seven million is what I heard was the, uh, the viewership for the five o'clock debate. Um, and quite frankly, in one case, Carly Fiorina, um, I think would have been better. Actually, I think she was better served in the debate she was in because she wouldn't have gotten the, uh, the time. Mm -hmm. um, but she came out, in my opinion, looking amazing. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So out of that 24 million, how many do you think watch just to participate in the drinking game? The drinking game. There was a drinking game. The Republican debate this. drinking game. You haven't heard of <laughs> I, I completely missed the. <laughs> yeah. I am yeah. clearly I off my game. Like the beer distributors <laughs> won that one big time. My opinion as to who won this debate, after what you said, the winner of the debate was Fox News. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. But let yes. me just say this. Let me go back to the drinking game they thing. They won the debate. For, for, <laughs> you know what? I don't care what made people watch having more people involved in our political process is nothing but a good thing for Absolutely. this country. Yeah. So I don't care what you have to do to get them in a room and get them to watch because guess what? If they watch and they're listening, they may learn something and we may have a little better educated electorate. Yeah. And that benefits us all. Yeah, but I think even in this case, you know. And, and that's I'm the saying, purpose of the show. Yeah, but Fox News is also a Basically, Fox a News business who is love ratings, and life. And their ratings have been falling. This is August during the doldrums. They get a home run here. Yeah, I don't think in their ratings ways. have been falling. No, not seen. at all. They have been falling. Maybe yes, on certain shows. They have but been falling. This is beating them. Rachel Maddow? They have been falling. <laughs> Would it, we'll be, we're just talking about them at the moment. And they, they got all these people to watch. And they got two things. They also got Donald Trump. Oh. Well, and who, that's, they do, who they really yeah. don't want to be. He brought a He brought a viewership. <laughs> You know, because, I mean, that guy, you, you know, we, we talk about wanting a train wreck. There is a train wreck. That's what yeah. they wanted. Well, and that's what it's America political loves theater. to It's watch. not a debate. Unfortunately, I don't America want that. But watch. I'll tell you, I was there in Cleveland. I went to the debate, and the, the excitement well, was, was palpable. Well, we, it's we, because of Donald Trump. But now, let me, well, let me ask you this. I'm, and we there obviously, there's no data su to support this. But do we think, do we think that those, uh, those 24 million are a mixture of Democrats and Republicans. I mean, have you heard from any of your Democratic friends? Did they watch I the debate? I watched it. Yes, the so several of us game. watched Jim, it. Jim, I'm telling you, yes, this was kind of a drinking. big deal. It's all about the drinking <laughs> game. I'm really surprised that you didn't know so about some, the So you know, yeah. yeah. Ashley, yeah. Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, you've got to fill me in on this stuff. But clearly, I, I'm not. Uh, so you know. it was any time Donald Trump said anything racist. Yes. Um, any time he Which talked he about how much of an entrepreneur he was and how people should owe him for running for president. Yes. Anytime any of the candidates said anything remotely stupid, <clears throat> people had to take a shot. And in fact, the Democratic Central Committee released a statement advising people to not take the game seriously. And if you were going to go shot for shot, instead of liquor, do beer. Because there, it was significantly impossible to finish the debate without winding up in an alcohol-induced well, uh, bad coma. situation. <laughs> the big winners of the debate, in my opinion, were John Kasich. This is the 9 o'clock debate that I attended. John Kasich did terrific, and I think Marco Rubio was fantastic. And I think a close third, maybe, um, Carly Fiorina definitely won the, seven, or the 5 o'clock yeah. happy hour debate, as they called it. Um, John Kasich had the best line of the night. Yeah, but his poll numbers didn't exactly sh It didn't no. change hardly anything that, I'm looking at this, the guy who's head of, you know, 24%, whatever Trump is at this point, it's, it's virtually meaningless. I mean, sure. they interrogated Donald Trump. They beat up on him. Yeah. Big time, you know. Megan Megyn Kelly, Kelly was the, she was beat fantastic. Beat up on him on purpose. And, you know, she, they won the debate. Fox did. I'm, I'm sorry. And then the rest of them, a lot of them, it was like batting practice before yeah. a ball game. You know, or, so you know, they're, they're just throwing, lobbing things over the plate. Yeah. And nothing of substance was One, really well, and, and part of the problem there is the fact that you've got ha, 10 candidates on stage. Yeah, you've got an hour and a half minus commercials. Yeah. 
you know, the, you cannot realistically, I mean. The, There's so, four so, of us here. Right, <laughs> right, and we fight over each other, but yeah. or, and talk over each other. I mean, it was, yeah. it's impossible to oh. get that level of, uh, yeah. any level of detail in that type of form. Well, well I think you bring it. up a really good point, Jim, and I think at the end of the day, the saddest thing of American politics is how we're battling for prime time how versus England where you see parliament in session 20, basically anytime they're on session you can view in you can catch in and then if they're not in session you're viewing reruns on BBC uh, versus uh, the American government trying to pitch debates to there are media and and how limited a view we get of this conversation well, Fox News and what was limiting the political discussion exactly they limit it to a certain time the they limit the subject Audrey. matter they limit the questions that are being put right. out there and what you find is all the conversation it's is being reduced worth. down yeah. to marshmallows so people would rather do a drinking game instead of listening to <laughs> it exactly yeah but because that's a lot of stuff they they're so. being fed they're, they're, they're they listen. there was there was the Iranian deal they talked about Dodd Frank they gave economic yeah, but it plans was short quick you know sir well that's how those well that's made for TV and 10 words that's the well, problem that's the point. I, mean, I think that's exactly the problem point, right? it's a production it's not it's a, a debate production. you have two hours the leader show. the leader of the free world shouldn't be reduced down to Fun prime time television with a drinking uh, game fodder with it. a drinking game <laughs> attached <laughs> to it. Yeah, I, I loved it. I think Next it was great TV. Next thing you know, TV. we'll be coming out I'm with Happy Meals it. with free well, candidate toys. When the toys, Democrats you know? debate with free what? <laughs> with candidate toys, collect them all. <laughs> Everyone wants the Trump. When okay. when 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 <laughs> Democrats debate, I, we'll probably revisit this subject, and it'll be equally interesting to hear Bernie Sanders uh, talk about socialism. Speaking of socialism, we'll find out what our panelists think of government-induced dependency. Is the U.S. moving closer to a true socialist state? Stay tuned.